tell you where the fish are. Triple, triple. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. Bam. Come on. Bacon, cream, and cheese. Bacon, cream, and cheese. Bacon, cream, and cheese. Bacon, Shaper of Potsky Outdoors. Today we're talking to you about one of the most exciting things in the fishing industry. We're talking about fire dye. And what are we doing? Today we're out here doing live minnows. We're going to show you how to make live minnows chartreuse, red and blue without killing them. That's right. The fish go crazy when they see something like this. You hear a little bit of echo in the background. You hear a little bit of buzzing. That's because when you do this, it is extremely important for you to do several things. One, you got to make sure that your aerators are on. We have three things right here, three aerators on all of them. That's the most important step. Number two, make sure that you follow the instructions on the bottle. If you just simply take a bottle of fire dye, pour it in a five gallon bucket, it's not gonna work. Why is that? You're gonna dilute the formula, it's not gonna work so well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you exactly how to do this with minnows. Of course, there's shad, there's minnows, there's emerald shiners, there's a million different baits out there. Today, we're focusing on your typical minnow, whether it's a fathead minnow, whether it's a minnow you buy in the south, one you buy in the central part of the country, it doesn't matter. This method will work on those minnows if you follow these instructions. So come along with us, we're gonna show you how to do it, how to do it properly, and get vibrant, exciting looking baits that make the fish go crazy. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use this fire deck. So what I've done is I've already pre-filled all these buckets with water. You know, we're gonna do a short soak here today. So the short soak instructions call for four, four bottles of fire dye filled with water. So I fill this bottle up four times with water into each bucket, and we're gonna add one bottle of fire dye to each bucket. You know, you don't wanna to use too much water because if you use too much water, the solution is gonna be diluted. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna add my chartreuse to my minnows, and like I said, we've already pre-done these. We already got the minnows in here, and we'll show you guys the results. Okay, so we start with the chartreuse. the red next. And we're going to do the blue. We're just going to do a short soak on these. We're going to have them in there for about 10 minutes and we'll check them. You know, if they're not the color we want, we'll leave them in there for another 10 minutes. It doesn't take long. You really don't want to have these in here for more than a half hour. After a half hour, you're going to have all the color, all the color that you'll want. You know, if you only want the eyes and the fins dyed, then only leave them in there for about five to 10 minutes and that's all you're going to need for just the eyes and the fins, you know. But if you want that real vibrant color, leave them in there for 20 minutes to a half hour and you're going to have all the color you want. So we've had our baits in the dye for 10 minutes now, and I'm going to show you exactly what they look like. Alright, so we're going to start with the chartreuse. And take one out. I'm going to rinse it into some fresh water really fast, so I'll show you all the color that's going to hold on the middle until he's eight. Okay, so I rinse him in some fresh water, and that's the color he has, and that's just after 10 minutes. As you can see, you know, his belly, his gills, his eyes, his tail, is all dyed, he's nice and alive still. You know, you could, if this is the color you're looking for, it'd be perfect. If not, you can let it sit for another 10 to 20 minutes and the entire minnow is gonna be a very vibrant color. So now we're gonna move to the blue. I'm gonna take a couple out and I do recommend using gloves. You know, you don't have to. Um, fire dye will stain your hands, but it obviously it washes off easy with just a little soap and water. But just for a nice clean process, I recommend using gloves. 
Okay, so I washed him off, and that's the color he has after 10 minutes. You know, as like the chartreuse, you can see his fins. You know, this is even a little bit, uh, a little bit brighter, but you can see his fins and his tail and his belly are all dying. He's gonna maintain this color until he's eaten, as long as you can keep him alive for. All right, so we've had our baits in the dye for 30 minutes now. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. I'm gonna take out one of our chartreuse. I'm gonna rinse them off in some clean water. Voila, that's what we got to work with. You can see the entire minnow is completely vibrant chartreuse. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the blue. We've had them in here for 30 minutes as well. Take one of these guys out. I'm gonna rinse them off in some clean water. Bam, that's what we're working with. I mean, he's, that's all the, he's got great color. You can see his fins, his side, his belly, his back, the entire minnow's blue. So that's after a 30 minute soak. And uh, that's all the longer you would want to leave them in there for. So we've had our baits in the red for a half hour now. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. I'm gonna rinse them, I'm gonna grip one and rinse them off into some clean water. And that's what the red looks like after a half hour. You can see his back is nice and colored. His sides got a good color. His fins got great color. And his belly. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna transport them into our bigger bait tank. You know, we don't wanna leave them in this small amount of water because they're just gonna die after a little bit. If you transport them into your bigger bait tank, they're gonna stay alive for a long time. They're gonna maintain their color until you use them. So for those of you who don't want to make a mess with the dye, we're going to show you a process how to keep this completely clean and how to remove all the excess dye. So what we have right here is a bucket full of clean water. We're going to remove our minnows into that bucket full of clean water. We're going to let them swim around for just a couple minutes. Then we're going to remove them into one more bucket of clean water. And you're going to have minnows that maintain a good color. There's not going to be any dye. You can bring them into your boat. You're not going to have dye getting all over the place and they're going to be perfect. Okay, so what we've done now is uh, we've done the whole process and we've taken them, we washed them, basically uh, let them rinse themselves off in clear water and then we transfer them to these uh, little containers here so you can see exactly what they look like. Now remember, we only did a 30 minute soak on these which means if you want them to be more vibrant, more exciting, you can keep them in there longer. We do not recommend you do it longer than 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, because you might stress the minnows out too much. Now some of these do look stressed out and there's a reason for that. We've taken them in warm water, uh, warmer water which we got from the bait shop and we have simply removed them and put them in uh, ground supply water. And what that's done is there's a major temperature change and they're a little stunned a few of them right now. So you still see them kicking, still see them swimming and uh, they're coming back to life and getting ready to get eaten. So again on the left you have your chartreuse on the middle you have your blue and on the right you have your red. Okay, so this is epic. <laughs> um, I'm kind of vibrating right now. Um, we just, uh, we were doing some footage to show the, the I can't even talk, it's so insane. The live, um, <sighs> live fire dyed uh, minnows on a tube jig. We were jigging with the GoPro right underneath the ice, like six inches under the ice. Chris said, we gotta catch a fish like this. I said something smart, because we probably weren't. This tank of a splake came underneath there, smoked my tube jig, just so it gave me a heart attack. Oh my God. I lost it. He came around, swiped out about three more times and hit it literally in the hole. While we were filming. We got it on the GoPro. <laughs> it is gonna be insane. Like, no way. Oh, that was unbelievable. Wow. Incredible fish. I'm not sure if you can tell, I'm a little excited. That was insane. That was Do you think so we can cool. do that again? Yeah. <laughs> this thing was just ballistic. You, that go, I want to see this video. Me too. But it's going to be cool. Wow. So this, tube jig tipped with a, and you'll see in that video, with a, uh, a live chartreuse fire dyed minnow on that tube. I'm vibrating right now. Wow. That was epic.